And because of widespread usage of antibiotics, what we've seen is um, the development of resistance to those antibiotics. And those, that antibiotic resistance actually can be transmitted to um, other members of the species. And this is what has led to this really pandemic of antimicrobial resistance. And the challenge on that, and I'll give you an example, in Pakistan we saw a strain of typhoid. Typhoid used to be a horrible disease, killed 20% of people who got it, spread widely, um, it was one of those fearsome diseases. With antibiotics, the mortality rate is less than 1%. Well, right now, um, the, the particular typhoid that is circulating is resistant to five of the six antibiotics that work against it. If it gets that last resistance, it will all of a sudden not be able to be treatable with existing antibiotics, and that's pretty scary. Now, what vaccines do, of course, is they actually prevent those infections from occurring. And so what's interesting is that if you bring a vaccine into a community where there's antimicrobial resistance, over time, the genetics push out that antimicrobial resistance and the infectious agents become sensitive to those antibiotics again. There's no reason to keep those resistance to those antibiotics. And so uh, vaccines are a way to do this. It's true for pneumonia, it's true for diarrhea, and it's true for hospital-based infections. So this is something that's going to be critical for the world going forward.